So welcome back, everyone, for the anime news of the week. Uh, I'm sorry, Ronald is still AWOL. Haven't seen him in, in quite a while. Uh, he sends me messages occasionally. Haven't heard from him um, uh, 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 in a couple weeks now because, uh, well, he tells me to destroy all the messages he sends because uh, oh. um, they're sensitive, you know. People would die if uh, they learned. Gotta destroy it. Exactly. Totally. Can't, can't um, let it out. And also just the blood gets messy. So, yeah. Yeah, we'll yeah, yeah. Anyway, so <laughs> we had um, uh, this week five anime films were submitted for the Oscars. Five? Five anime films. That's pretty darn wow. cool. Um, so the ones are going to be In This Corner of the World, um, uh, Mary and the Witch's Flower, which I'm not familiar with. Um, let's see here. Uh, Napping Princess. Like Kenji Kamiyama, who did um, Ghost in the Shell Sandal and Complex. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, a Silent Voice, which is mm. one of the big big films of the year. Um, and then these two are our online movie, interestingly. Wow. Submitted for an Oscar. So wow. I am now very much intrigued by that yeah. film. Um, to give you a sense, so in, and uh, there are, gosh, how, there are like 27 films submitted this year. That's impressive. For the animated Oscar. Um, and they've been trying to kind of expand the animated Oscars because they've been very American focused for a while and folks have been kind of saying you, you know but at least the nominations yeah, yeah, yeah. should be wider so yeah. we're getting those we're getting um, it should be interesting to see maybe yeah. maybe we'll get somebody uh, in there who's gonna totally take it. well the going up against the emoji movie um, Cars oh. 3 uh, <laughs> uh, I, I three. Find, um, the like a ba- the like a Ninjago movie oh man the like a Batman movie oh. um, a Moomin movie I did not realize that Smurfs the Lost Village. Smurfs making a re a pit surge. This might be the CGI one? I don't know. Wow. We'll, we'll see. So, the, the, you know, I don't think that's a particularly difficult um, one. But the interesting thing, I'm looking through this, um, I think Cars 3 is the only Disney film. Oh, wow. And, and that's Disney Pixar. Um, so, it, they may have a chance. They may actually yeah. They may actually do it this year. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't see any Disney Pixar or any any others in that film. So yeah, yeah here's This should be good. We'll see. Uh, moving on to some news about Star Blazers. Yes, space battle yes. Yamato. Yamato. Uh, so there was the Star Blazers Yamato 2199 anime series, which yeah. came out uh, a couple of years ago. A remake of the original Yamato, and uh, see the original. Yeah, <laughs> it's awesome. Star Blazing. Um, yeah, exactly. Star um, Blazing. So Star Blazers and mm-hmm. space battleship Yamato. Mm-hmm. Similar names, different well, yeah, locations. Yeah, yeah, so. well, yeah, Star Blazers is the Americanization of, of Yamato. Yamato. Right, Space exactly. Battleship Yamato. Uh, and so, and, interestingly, they decided for the for the official, <laughs> official Japanese release, it is called Star Blazers colon Space Battleship Yamato. That, they were like, that's good. It, and there's just an settle title, this problem exactly, once you and know, for all. And they're like, folks, have, yeah, they, they know the name, it's fine. That's <laughs> um, and it is now streaming on Crunchyroll. Yeah. First episode at least came out. Um, cool. On Crunchyroll. Um, uh, nice. Actually, I take that back. They're, they're, they're streaming... Um, okay, they, you know, they, have they started? It, it, yeah, it started they will this, start. They will start in yeah, November. It, it started this week for um, pay members. Okay. And for, so for uh, um, the, 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 the public, for free, it, uh, you'll get it next week. It's always a one week Oh, so I, if I'm for, a week behind already, then I'm, a, I'm all set exactly, for the free one. Totally. So, <laughs> cool. Um, and then Funimation's streaming an English dub of it as well. English dub, um, nice. So that, wow, that's pretty that cool. should so be they, interesting. They're, yeah. they're doing that. Um, it is directed by Yutaka Izubuchi, who made Razaphon. Razaphon, mm-hmm. fly me to the music. <laughs> <laughs> and not the moon. Um, so, yes, it was a. Uh, it was actually a... They, they, they premiered it, I forgot about this, as a series of seven movies, each of which contained four episodes worth of the show. So wow. it kind of started as movies, and then they... Slip them back that's, out of that's kind of wild because that's the reverse of what yeah, usually happens. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. Um, and uh, and I, have, I have no idea where all that came from, but uh, yeah. So that that's that's pretty cool. That's um, uh, out there. And Funimation is uh, dubbing it. Uh, I don't think we have any more information. No, that's just uh, that. That's so yeah. So the dub started through so many, so, so much so much audio goes it through Funimation. Absolutely crazy. And, it, and what they've done is they've added it to their uh, current season simul dub schedule. So if you go to Funimation.com, you're looking for it. It's it's there. You know they're they're considering it. You know this season, even though it came out a couple of years ago, because that's when the dub is being made. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, this season release in U.S. Exactly. Yeah. Um, good news for fans of Princess Jellyfish. Princess Jellyfish. Uh, Akiko Higa- Higashimura. Sorry, Akiko Higashimura 
um, has announced uh, there's going to be a live action series version of Princess Jellyfish. Live Jelly. Pretty cool. <laughs> um, Princess Jellyfish is about a. Um, it, it's sort of this gender bending fashion uh, series. Uh, a lot of people really love this. Uh, it looks very interesting. Uh, it's, it's been around for a while. There's an anime series, I believe, uh, and a manga as well. Um, uh, yeah, 2010 anime series. So, um, and then a live action film was actually made uh, back in 2014. Live action jellyfish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and the manga got an Eisner nomination uh, this year. So mm -hmm. it's definitely a, a big deal. Wow. So here's hoping that that works out well. That's pretty interesting. Ooh. Uh, Toy Animation has announced big impre increases in profits yeah. uh, back in the first half of the year. So they published their earnings for the, um, the current fiscal year through its second quarter. Um, and I'm not sure, they, I don't think they list in here what that is, because fiscal years are always different in different parts yeah, of the world. Yeah, it's it's the start of the fall, mm -hmm. the spring, and the calendar um, year. So I'm, I'm assuming that's probably, um, uh, I don't know, I mean, maybe I the last six months? Calendar year? Might, I don't know, who knows. Uh, so, point being, they had an 18% increase in consolidated sales versus same period last year. Ooh. That's good. Operating profit increased 24%. Wow. Definitely. Uh, and ordinary income increased 36%. I should invest in something that's yeah, surprising exactly. like that. That's totally. great. <laughs> um, net income increased 25 uh, So definitely, you know, all those indicators are up and strong. That's a positive sign. Definitely. Um, uh, copyright and licensing sales increased 52%. 52%. Yeah. That's a lot of copywriting and licensing. Yeah, definitely. Licensing, um, so, good. So it, it re reached uh, $13 million U.S. equivalent, to give you an idea of the numbers. And there's, again, the, the, the consolidated sales were $205 million um, for that uh, two quarters. Hmm. So you know, hundreds of millions of dollars there for total overall money. Um, being spent on toy stuff, which is pretty cool. And like, obviously, copyright and licensing sales are selling anime to America and China and all other places. Plus other stuff. And, you know, toys. So that's definitely toys. cool. Toy toys? It's, it's toy toys. <laughs> so that's cool. Um, the, um, yeah, so, f let's see here. Foreign copyright sales were $54 million, which is a 91% increase from last year. Wow. That's nuts. Wow. So yeah, definitely doing well. Um, they're citing the Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle smartphone game as one of the big pushes DBZ. for that. Wow. Dragon Ball Z is still pushing. Uh, <laughs> there are 200 million downloads of this game. 200 million Imagine downloads. Imagine if every other person in America owned this game. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. DBZ is doing fine. Wow. That's a lot of downloads. <laughs> Definitely. Um, film's got a slight bump from last year. Uh, but profit is down. Um, Toy produced six TV anime series in this period. It didn't list which ones. I'm not sure what, what those are. Um, and then sales have increased um, a little bit. The actual anime sales have actually dropped a little bit. Um, and home video market's about the same. Um, and then overseas video sales totals $34 million, mostly stemming from... China. China? <laughs> wow. And the Dragon Ball franchise in the United States. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Yeah. The, the, our, you know, all of those 12-year-olds out there who are watching <laughs> Dragon Ball in America, uh, that's, wow. a, that's a very cool thing. Uh, so, yeah, good, good on toy and good, good news for the industry, at least yeah. that's chugging along. Definitely. Um, so, those who were going to Crunchyroll this week, be aware it got hacked. It got hacked. Yeah. Hacked people. Beware, beware. You might be infected. Mm -hmm. Check it out. So if you went and you saw an alert saying that uh, a, a new media player for Crunchyroll um, had to be installed and you downloaded a crunchyviewer.exe, <gasps> uh -oh. that's, that's not good. Uh -oh. um, so the front page redirected, um, uh, the, 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 the front page of this new version had this alert. Uh, Crunchyviewer.exe was not a new version of the viewer. Wow. Uh, the official German Twitter account for Crunchyroll, there is an official German account for, for, for Crunchyroll. Yeah, each country. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, was the first one to kind of break this and tell folks, oh, oh, stop oh, using oh, the site oh, for a while. Yeah. Wow. Um, they call it malicious software. Um, Malware. So, yeah, they were told, don't run the program, delete it, scan for possible viruses. Oh, yeah. Um, and if you run it, obviously change passwords, back up your data. Yeah. 
Um, you should do that at, uh, once in a while anyways, but mm-hmm. definitely do it sooner than later, just in case. <sighs> yeah. The, uh, the Crunchyroll app is not affected, so there's no problem coming through your, your phones. Ooh, uh, but it took them, let's see here, um, a couple of hours on, I think it was Wednesday, was it? Um, that was uh, number 4th. So that was, gosh, like Saturday. I yeah, guess. that was a little while ago. Um, they, uh, yeah, it was down from basically from 9 a.m. to about 12:30 a.m. 12:30 uh, p.m. Eastern time. Um, that was that was affected. Still no news on what it was, how it got in, what, what, you know, what the, the deals were. We'll have to find what the vector of attack was. But yeah. somebody's specifically making something to look like Crunchyroll. That's the thing. Provided it. Yeah, that's that's the, the concern. Is Who this isn't just would you know, attack media Crunchyroll? I mean. Yeah, it, it's big enough now. They are getting some enemies. Wow. Yeah, so that, beware out there, folks. You know, yeah. it's, uh, there are people who are malicious. Mm-hmm. Uh, just. Yeah. And bear repeating, anytime you go to a website and something's dramatically changed, be suspicious. Yeah. So uh, question the change. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> question <laughs> the change. Uh, maybe you don't need anime just that second and you can kind of dig into it. We'll, we'll see. Um, okay, also in Crunchyroll news, they've uh, announced they're going to uh, launch their foreign language dubs. This is cool. So, foreign language dubs. Yeah. So we mentioned that uh, a couple weeks ago that they had announced they're going to do do this. Now we have specific plans. So November sixteenth, they're going to launch this with three shows: um, Schwarzes Marken, Schwarzes Marken, yeah. Perfect Nugan, <laughs> um, Yamada Kun and the Seven Witches, mm. and Roka Braves of the Six Flowers. Ooh. And they will uh, be available number 16th for members and then a week later for free what users. What languages are those um, going Spanish, to be? Spanish, Brazilian, Portuguese, French, and German. Wow. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, I know they have, they basically said, we want yeah, obviously, they want, to, they want to dub in every language on Earth. Um, but that's kind of Eventually. where you're going to start <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. With, with those. The, um, but what's interesting is they're, they're going to be available in different regions. Hmm. So Roca will be available worldwide outside of Asia. Okay. And I should also point out, you know, whenever you're licensing something... It may be that there's already a licensing agreement with an Italian company. So that kind of restricts all what you can do. There's all sorts of different right? things, yeah. uh, country or region specific. Mm-hmm. Wow. So anyway, so Rocco will be available um, worldwide outside of Asia. Yamada Kuna and Seven Witches will be available in the U.S., Canada, Central and South America, South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, Europe, the Middle East, and North Africa. Wow. Uh, that's so a big release. That, that's a big release. So it sounds to me like that is basically... Um, not Middle Africa, right? Um, not Europe, that I can see. No, no, Europe is in there. Europe's in there. Um, so not Russia, um, and not Asia, hmm. in general. So yeah, U.S., South America, chunks of Africa, all of Europe. I wonder Middle if they'll East. have a Swahili. Day yeah, at some <laughs> point. Yeah, that would be it neat. Would surprise me. Yeah. Um, and then Schwartz is Markin is language based. So the oh, the Spanish yeah. dub will be available in the Spanish. Uh, uh, countries, German and German countries, that kind of stuff. It, it should be interesting to see which ones get uh, mm-hmm. uh, picked up and how this uh, experiment works. Yeah, uh, exactly. So, the Spanish dub will be available in Latin America, Portuguese in Brazil, French and German in French and German-speaking territories. Now, now, Crunchyroll is doing this. Are they re- doing the recordings? Or so, that... um, uh, Funimation is actually producing the dub of Yamada-kun. Um, Pony Canyon, USA, Pony Canyon, um, uh, uh, they were the ones who released Roca. Um, but I'm not sure if they're doing the um, the, the dub for this one. He think that had no dub. So mm-hmm. all all I know is that Funimation is doing the dub for Yamada Kun. Wow. Not sure about the others. That sounds um, like a joint effort, though. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm I'm suspecting that they are at the very least, you know, routing it through Funimation. You know, Funimation is probably providing kind of the contacts and so forth. Because I mean, Funimation does not doesn't. They have so many studios that they yeah. can just churn through all the time. That... But they got to hire all different actors. Totally different language-speaking actors. I mean, that's yeah. going to open up... I mean, those studios are already busy, so I wonder if they'll expand or <laughs> yeah. possibly do some satellite... Well, and think about it. I mean, Funimation's interesting because they're Texas, right? They're in Texas. Flower Mountain, Texas. Where... Um, so, in Texas, <laughs> find a whole bunch of German voice actors. Yeah, and, and, and uh, uh, <laughs> French. Yeah, and, exactly. And 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 uh, uh, Brazilian Portuguese, Brazilian Portuguese, yeah, and, Spanish. Yeah. I think Spanish they, have, they yeah, might be able to. Yeah. That, that would be a problem. Yeah. Region unspecific <laughs> Spanish. Yes, exactly. <laughs> they'll, they'll figure that out. But that that'll be very interesting. So wow. that might be one of those things too, where it may not be Funimation. It may not be you know, being handled at you know Funimation's 
actual studios. So it may be like Texas, satellite. But they probably oh, we have a studio here, here, right. here. Mm-hmm. We submit it. It goes in there. They edit it, process it, and then send it to Crunchyroll. And right. Yeah. I'm. I'm you know, there, there are plenty of, of studios in LA and New York and so forth. It's good to know that uh, these companies are working together and not. Yeah. Sending out <laughs> malware to each other. Exactly. Um, so as we were talking about bef- um, uh, before the show, um, this feels like it's an, sort of an experiment mm. where they're trying you know, different dubs in different countries to mm. see how that works out. Like, you know, is everyone happy with a particular way of doing it? Does one produce more complaints than the other? Mm. And then once that happens, they kind of get a sense of that, then they can kind of move forward with a is there strategy. a market for this in this region mm-hmm. in this country and this is something that's really neat if you have if you've run into international anime fans there's different uh, uh, fan clubs across uh, the globe and for the most part a lot of releases have been made in English but yeah. getting a specific country's release outside of English or Japanese is is a little bit spottier. It's a little bit mm-hmm. trickier to come by. So this should be something that if you have friends who are in other countries, you may want to let them know that this is coming about so that they can yeah. hop on board and show uh, their interest. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, because it's it's always nice to have something that's in the native tongue and, yeah. uh, as well as the original <laughs> material. So you can listen well, to the dub, the sub, and <laughs> another language and learn another language. And this is the interesting thing. I mean, there may not be a French... Sub of Schwarze Marken. Yeah. Other than fan subs mm. or German. You know, so this may be yeah. the first official. The, the first official, yeah. You know? I remember seeing Italian stuff for Lupin mm. the Third. Oh, I mean, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, remember, I mean, yeah. Uh, of all the anime, Lupin's one of the more European. Yeah. So that, that I, I can understand. Um, yeah, I, I know. Um, what's the other big European? I know um, Mazinger and the other uh, giant, uh, uh, giant Robo and those others, you know. Had a good run on like Italian television and things like that. So Ooh, there are cool. a few of those. I think Rosa Versailles. Rosa Versailles. Sh- yeah, that, that makes French, sense. French. I yeah. think they got a p- pretty good French version of that. Um, so there are a few of those classic shows that showed up on uh, those, t- those channels. So that's the news for this week. Uh, thank you all for joining us, and hope you will join us <laughs> next week. Join us next week.